Welcome back, my degenerates. My name is Dave, and I am your host for Small Risks and Big Rewards. It is week 13. Week 13 already. And in today's quick episode, I'll be going through my choices for each game's money line, spread picks, and over-unders. For those following along, I always use ProLine Stadium uh, to preview the odds because we're going to keep it Canadian, eh? It's, uh, it's time to beat the odds. All right, so before we get going, please leave a like to support the channel. And if you want to follow along, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can follow along when I post all of my future videos going forward. And let me know, what are some of the big upsets you got this going uh, this coming week? So let's dive right into it. Boom. Game one of the week 13 schedule. Schedule, if you will. We have the Arizona Cardinals on the road at the Chicago Bears. The Bears are a seven and a half underdog. This one's pretty straightforward for me. This is Arizona money line. This is Arizona to cover the spread. And this is an over. Um, Fields is probably out, so that means Dalton's in. Uh, Allen Robinson's out. No one cares. He's useless. Um, Arizona may have Kyler Murray. He's a game time decision. I don't care either way. Um, they have a good enough backup quarterback to, to cover the spread. Their run game's been great, and their defense has been solid. And the Bears look very, very mediocre. Um, on defense, they're holding their own, um, but I just don't think they're going to be able to stop Arizona going forward. Pretty easy. Pretty quick one. All right, next up, we have the Colts at the Texans. Uh, again, this one's pretty easy for me. It's Colts money line. Um, but we have Houston as a 10-point underdog at home. That's too many points. I don't care. Uh, division rivals. Um, these games are always tighter than they should be. The Colts, they're a lot better team than their in de than their record indicates right now. Um, and Jonathan Taylor is an absolute monster, and he should have a crazy good game. That's why I'm also going to take the over here, the over 44 and a half. However, the Texans, they look way better than they should. Um, they're playing decent football games. Their defense, you know, if I could say anything about the team, it's that their defense has been playing way better than expected as well. Um, but give me the over here. Jonathan Taylor has a game. I just think that 10 points is too much. Uh, Tyra Taylor will be able to find his way uh, into the end zone a couple times as well. The Chargers at the Bengals. This was a Sunday nighter. Uh, you got Justin Herbert facing Joe Burrow. This got flexed out for the, for the Kansas City Chiefs and Denver Broncos game. Sad, sad choice in my opinion. This is going to be one of the better games of the week in my opinion. Um, the Chargers go into Cincinnati as a three-point dog, um, and the over-under is 49.5. I like the Chargers. I think that the Bengals have been an up-and-down team. I think that they're... they're If the middle line is right here in terms of uh, talent, they're definitely just slightly beyond it. They're they're better than good. They're, slight, you know, they're a little bit better than good. They're not great, but they're a little bit better than good. But I think the Chargers are just a little bit better than them. Um... Joe Mixon may be able to have a really good day because if the Chargers do... And here's the thing. If the Chargers focus on Mixon, then J Jamar Chase may blow them up. So give me the over. But I think that the Chargers can win this game. I think that Herbert and the boys bounce back after a rough loss at Denver. Denver just seems to always have have an edge on them. It's like the one... It's like their kryptonite, you know? Um, so give me, the, give me the points, give me the money line, and give me the over here. I think that the Chargers can win that game. And they need to, actually. That division's so tight, the AFC West. So then we have Minnesota at Detroit. Uh, you know, NFC North Conference battle. Minnesota is on the road as a 7.5-point favorite. I think that's a good line. I think that's a fair number. Um, I, like the, I like the Vikings to win the game. I don't think Detroit's got a win in them right now. Not at this point. And at the, do they really want to win a game this far into the season? Like, you know, make sure you get those picks, right? Uh, give me the over. Neither the, neither of the defenses are very great, um, and I'll I'll take Detroit to cover this though. They've they've covered weird spreads. Um, excuse me. They they stick in games a lot better than you expect them to. Um, so yeah, give me the uh, spread and give me the money line for Minnesota. Giants on Miami. Uh, give me the Giants. I think the Giants can win this game. I don't think that uh, Miami is a phenomenal team. They are on a four-game win streak, and Tua's been looking a lot better. That's why they're favored. And I, don't get me wrong, the smart pick is Miami, but I do think that 3.17 is a crazy good payout for, for a game that could literally swing by a special teams touchdown or a defensive touchdown. Um, the Giants are a bad team, but they keep 
they're staying in things uh and they're they're somehow relevant in their division because the afc east is just sorry the nfc east is just so brutal uh so give me the line or the giants give me the points and give me the over 39 and a half because if they are going to beat the dolphins this game is going to have to be like 24 21 type of type of deal or, or maybe higher scoring than that philly at new york philly at the jets Jets are seven point underdogs at home over under 45 and a half. I, I think this is a great bounce back for Philadelphia. Obviously money line. And I th- I'm going to take the spread too. Uh, and the over one, two, three, give me the top line. Um, the Eagles have had a crazy, crazy good run game. And I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to run all over the Jets. I like the over because I think the Jets can get some, get the ball moving on offense as well. Um, but I think that Philadelphia is going to bounce back against their loss against the Giants, and they're going to have a the ability to just rush all over the Jets for this weekend. So give me Philly, give me the spread, and give me the over as well. Tampa Bay at Atlanta, uh, one of the bigger spreads of the week. Tampa Bay on the road, favored by 11, uh, and over under 50 and a half. Atlanta is somehow in this division right now as well. It's a four-way, three-way tie for second place. Um, I mean, Tampa Bay is going to win the game. They, sh- they should, sorry, Tampa Bay should win the game. Thus the odds, it makes more sense. So give me the, give me the money line. And I think they can cover by 11. I think Atlanta's defense is pretty brutal. Um, and I don't think they're going to be able to put up enough points to stay within that 11 point spread. Um, Lord knows Tom Brady on a good day, uh, in a dome can put up 50 and a half points on his own. So give me the over as well. Uh, Atlanta, Atlanta has been surprisingly better than they should be. Uh, and Tampa Bay's looked a lot more mediocre than they should be. But I think this is a get-right spot for Brady and the boys. I uh, expect a big game from both the receivers, Godwin and Evans. And Leonard Fournette, keep coming off a four-touchdown week, they're probably going to hand him the rock, too. If they get up enough, he should have a great game as well. All right, this would be, I, I want to say, the biggest spread of the game, right? Uh, Jacksonville at or spread of the week. Sorry about that. My dog's playing with the bone. Uh, Jacksonville at the Rams. Uh, the Rams are favored by 13 points at home with an over of 48. Give me the over. 48 points is a lot it, it's gonna be it's gonna hit um again a bounce back game for the rams it's kind of crazy they haven't won a game since they've had von Miller the team oliver get up on the come on up on the couch bud you had to pick the biggest loudest bone possible eh, dude come on thanks for that though you let me know realize my camera was a little off center uh yeah give me the give me the rams money line but i think 13 points might be too much uh and i want the over Jacksonville's playing better football than expected. And I think that Trevor Lawrence is getting a little bit better as the weeks go by. Not by a lot, but he's getting a little better. Um, and Matt Stafford's constantly chronically injured. Like the guy's got to get it together. OBJ is going to play too. So they might be, they might have a cursed weekend is what it is. Washington at Vegas. If I can line this up, that'd be great. Okay. Washington on the road is a one point uh, dog. With an over under of 49. Give me the over. And I think Washington wins this game. I think they can win by plus one too. Or they can start. They'll stay within plus one, obviously, if they're going to win the game. Uh, 2.05 payout. Washington is on a win streak. They're beating good teams. Uh, they're beating bad teams now. Las Vegas is a mi- middle of the road team. Um, they've had some weird losses in the last few weeks too. They've gotten just kind of dummied a little bit. Uh, and Washington looks good, man. Taylor Heineke looks legit. It looks like a mini little Brett Favre out there is his idol. He's slinging. McLaurin's making big grabs. Gibson looks healthy. Um, I, I think that Washington's defense is, is picking up slack where, where uh, Chase Young is out. I, I like this. I like this a lot. This is going to be, uh, I'm going to put a lot of money on this one. Uh, give me Washington money line. That's the spread and the over. Moving on. Oh, God. Baltimore at Pittsburgh. Baltimore is favored by four points on the road. It's too many points. I, I never, I could never bet on an AFC North game that is this this tight by more than three points it's always going to come down to the field goal normally it comes down to the field goal typically pittsburgh has had baltimore's number it's the one team in the division that they have a struggle against especially on the road tj watt is, is actually going to be playing he, he got two uh, negative uh, two negative tests back from covid so that's a little scary that actually took a 0.5 off the they took the hook off the four it was four and a half going into that now it's just down to four um, I think four points is fine. I think Baltimore wins the game, and I'll do like the over. Um, 
I think both these defenses have kind of struggled a little more. Mind you, both the offenses have struggled too. That's why the the, the over under is forty four and a half. Um, but I think that that will hit. Um, I expect a big game from uh, guys like Rashad Bateman and, and Mark Andrews, which means Lamar should have a good game. Um, if Baltimore had a good running back and they could establish the run game again, this team would be incredibly on. Like they would just be so much better. Um, and, and of course, they're leading the AFC right now. This is a bit is a must win for them. So that's why you think that they might choke. And, and so give me the plus four for the Steelers as well. All right, this game here is even more sketchy than the last line. I think um, this line was three. Now it's three and a half. Uh, Niners go on the road into Seattle. Seattle's typically known to have uh, give the Niners problems, especially in Seattle. Um, the over under forty six points. I like the over. I think that uh, both these teams can put up points. And give me the give me the the San Francisco Forty Niners and the coverage of the three and a half because I think that they could technically put up forty six points on their own. Um, you know, Debo's out, but I don't think it matters. Garoppolo's been playing very well. Russell Wilson hasn't been playing very well. They haven't been getting the ball to DK Metcalf. Uh, they need to figure that out. They just activated Adrian Peterson, so that shows you where they're at with their run game. I think that this this line doesn't make any sense to me. So that's why it's scary. Like that's why it's it actually be smart to put some money on the Seattle money line um, because of how crazy like. It's just tight. What a what a weird like division rivalry. Um, but yeah, give me San Francisco across the board. I'll take all three up uh, on top line. Okay, the game they got flexed. We have Denver Broncos on the road to the city, Kansas City Chiefs. Like this is a ten point spread, and they flexed this to the Sunday Nighter. It's so crazy how the NFL works and how all those algorithms and, and and views matter so much to them. Like. I would much rather have seen watch Cincinnati and and the Chargers in this game, and I don't like either of those teams really. Like they're both AFC, you know, uh, competitors. I don't like to see it, but so are these two teams. And obviously, it's a rivalry, and it's Patrick Mahomes, right? Give me Kansas City to win at home. They're on a streak. They look good. Uh, their defense is tightening up. I'm not going to say their defense is good, but they're tightening up. That being said, I don't think that Denver can put up more than 17, maybe 18, 19, most at most probably 20 points on them. So I'm going to take the under because I don't think that Kansas City is going to go and blow the doors off them either. So give me Kansas City money line. Give me the Broncos to cover the 10 points and give me the under of the 47 on the Sunday nighter. Last but not least, we have this. The, the spread on this one is crazy to me. Crazy. I would have. Oh, New England is a two and a half point dog on the road at Orchard Park and an over under of 41. Give me the over. The Pats are moving the ball so damn well. And the way Buffalo played last week shows that they they look like they're just... I mean, they're doing this, right? This is what the Bills do. Hey, Ollie. Can you go lay down, dude? Uh, the Bills are doing this on a roller coaster. It's crazy. Uh, and I honestly thought that this would be a favorite game for New England. So give me the 2.28 money line. Give me the plus point, uh, two and a half for the, for the um, Pats. And give me 41. Mac Jones... Give me the over 41. Mac Jones looks great. Uh, and the Bills are doing this. And if this is what they're doing, and they've been consistently doing this, they're on, they just did this, so now it's time for this. I think New England is going to beat them up. I think they're going to win by probably six. Uh, yeah, give me the Pats. Just that spread is crazy, crazy to me. I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't. No, not having it. Give me the Pats. Uh, so my send-off for you guys uh, before we roll is my small on the line. So I'm going to pull it up here. Uh, that being said, I made a little mistake here, so give me two seconds to pull up my actual pick. Uh, week 12, no, we want 13. Here we go. So, I put together a five-game line, and it's going to pay out a lot. Um, you put $100 down, you're paying back almost 6 k Now, obviously, those odds are obviously in the, in the bookies' favors, but Moneyline Chargers, they can beat the Bengals. Give me the money line on the Giants. That's really what's boosting this, these odds, too. I think that the Giants can go and beat Miami. I think Miami has been a good team, but their record is... They've won some really tight games, too. Uh, if you watch my last previous game, you'll we, or my last previous vi uh, video, we went over the um, the the playoff race right now, and it, the net points between some of these teams are just ridiculous of their scores. Uh, Washington to beat Vegas. The Broncos to cover the 10 points at Kansas City. And then lastly is New England to stay within two and a half. You could easily take the money line, um, but I'll just take the two and a half just to, to be safer and, and really roll that out. 
I think that this is some good money. Throw 10 bucks on this and win back 600 bucks. You get yourself a nice Christmas bonus, right? Like, that's just how it goes. All right. I hope this uh, video is helpful to other sports fans, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you again for watching. My name is Dave. I am your host of Small Risks, Big Rewards. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy your NFL weekend. I am out.